All right, so John Lennon. Let's talk a little bit first off. I'll mention this case, but I, I don't talk much about the Corps of Discovery, but when they were going to travel with Jefferson, who had three plans to send people across what is Louisiana, Louisiana, and try to get a claim here, a European respected claim. France only claimed this because France said, a um, guy named Charles, H., uh, Charles Champney said, when he got to the Missouri, he said, I claim all tributaries of the Missouri. Okay. And so that gave Louisiana a claim. Claim is a claim, doesn't mean, well, doesn't say that the people who live there aren't going to stay living there. You have to be conquered for them. But Spain, Britain, Russia, and the United States all claim this. And Jefferson was obsessed with the West. Remember, he's a plantation owner, but he also wanted small farms. And he's thinking, I got to walk someone across here. We walk somebody across the mountains. We have a better claim to Britain than Spain. What about it? We'll live there. Obviously, that's another story. He tried once, failed. He was ambassador. Oh, and they also thought this would be a scientific trove. All so many great things. They were just discovering a lot of dinosaur fossils. The Industrial Revolution was just beginning. They're taking more mines. Where are these animals? Right? They also discovered a fully intact woolly mammoth that was preserved in Siberia in 1792. It was found by Russian explorers. In fact, it was so realistic that they assumed that it had died relatively recently and they were feeling a little hungry, so they ate part of it. It was only about 7,000 years old. I'm guessing it was a little bit tough, just a little tough. But they assumed they must be there. They also thought they were short Caucasians so from Europe with beards who lived on the Great Plains who spoke Welsh. And my, I got to say one thing. That would have been so cool to see short, bandy arm, I'd be these kind of guys like this, riding woolly mammoths across the plane. But no, they didn't see it. They also thought there might be these strange creatures. This one, the myths, and this is from Spanish explorers who claimed they saw these giants with faces in their stomach and giants who had one leg and, and would shave themselves from the sun with their big foot. Darn it! That would have been awesome if they would have found those, but no. Well, but the big thing they thought they could find was the Northwest Passage. A passageway over the Americas, so an all-water route from Europe to the Pacific. And so this is from a map of the United States map from the 1880s talking about. This is a map from 1772. Pretty good on the coast and then stuff. We know there's stuff here. Same deal. Another map from the 1770s. Stuff. We don't know. It's stuff. Jefferson was obsessed with the West. It's supposed to say Jefferson. There he is, his ambassador to Spain. I'm sorry, to France in the 1780s. And he thought if he could walk somebody along the Missouri, that give a better claim to here, then jump through here and walk the Pacific Ocean. They knew the latitude of the Columbia. And so the thought was the Missouri would just kind of get to this little mountain chain that crossed over the mountains over the Columbia, jump on it, boom. If they couldn't find a Northwest Passage over the Arctic, maybe that could be the Northwest Passage on two big rivers. Well, this guy named John Ledyard appeared to him in Paris. He was from Connecticut. He actually went with Captain Cook, who was one of the great British explorers who gave Britain claim to like Australia on the voyage up here, where he went to the mouth of the Columbia. And Ledger, by the way, Cook died halfway through, and so they say that, uh, that's the blue line, sans Cook. But there's Ledger. Ledger said, I got an idea, and this is a book about him. The book is some of It'd be easier, I want you to ponder this for a second. It'd be easier to walk, or easier to, um, to walk from to the Columbia via Russia, cross the Pacific, hit the Columbia, then walk back, then walking here and then coming back. 
Jefferson said, that's a great idea. And so in 1786, Ledyard took off. He got to Sweden, he got to Stockholm, but it was winter. And this is frozen. No boats would go, so we had to wait. He couldn't wait. So he walked in the middle of winter north of the Arctic Circle to St. Petersburg. Got there, went to the court of Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great said, no, I'm not going to let you do that. He said, to heck with it. I'm going anyways. And he took off, walking across Russia in the winter into the spring and the summer of 1787. He got all the way to Irkutsk and then Omsk. When Catherine the Great heard about him, he was, this is supposedly a picture of him on a carriage, he went, I mean, on a sleigh going across. She said Cossacks, fierce Russian cavalry, all the way to Omsk. They grabbed him, stuck him in a carriage, and took him all the way back to the Polish border and dropped him off and said, never come back to Russia again. <laughs> that was Jefferson's second attempt. Ledyard decided, okay, I got to get to the Columbia, but what about the mouth of the Nile? So instead, he goes down to Alexandria, which is part of the Ottoman Empire, in Egypt. So right here, he wants to go find the, the source of the Nile. And he started walking down here. And when I first originally heard this story, he was eaten by cannibals. Thus ended Jefferson's second attempt. As it turned out, he just drank poison by mistake. Thus, Jefferson's second attempt would fail right about. It. And that's the saga of John Ledyard. I like that story. What's Jefferson's third story? Third attempt. The Corps of Discovery, which was going to be a secret military operation to cross into Louisiana. And then we bought the claim to Louisiana, so they become the Earth. So that's John Ledyard. I will ask a question about this on the text. Since you guys were here, you guys got a leg up. Should we make it 90% of your semester grade? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Good story. I like Ledyard. By the way, kind of a nut, huh? I mean, contemplate that. Why do you it makes no logical sense. It'll be quicker to go across Russia, go, and then go the same length we have planned to go originally. I think, you know, logically, I think they thought since Russia had already, even though it wasn't really roads like you would think, since they already knew it, it'd be easier to go that way. Yeah, but they still have to cross all of the unknown territory. I agree with you. I thought maybe get past the Spanish authority. Being, I don't, it makes no sense at all. But also think about what kind of people were back then. You're right, that's a good idea. I'm going to walk across Russia. In the middle of it. Oh, if you got a book, please. Could you, if you borrowed a book, please bring it up here. Please bring it up here. I think we need four books. Huh? I think we needed it today. But... We don't need to pull this. It's just giving these steps. Oh, I took them. They're nice. Thank you so much. You want, you want more? Yes. Can you mini more? <laughs> yes, we definitely need more. Kids. You can take many folders if you want. I'm taking this next. Yeah? I don't know why. I have so many of them. Clear out. See you tomorrow. I have a folder for you. Oh, yeah. Yay. You want it back? No, it's yours. It's a gift. Perfect. Yay. Did you throw a sit?
Yeah. Ooh, that's a big change. Right in the middle. Okay. Gosh, I told him the story of this lunatic explorer. Oh, nice. 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 John Ledger, which is it, it, it was crazy. Do you know what lunatic? Uh, a, a bad word, but from my point of view, his ideas are it's just it's just crazy. Really? It's kind of unreal what he did. Do this one. Um, read and keep your file if you want to keep it. That's yours. I don't need it. So I'll not some old files. They have been from the middle of these are over 25 years old. For the old world collections. You need to teach them this one. The way I did 25 years ago. 26 years. It's a long time ago. But I was with, I, I've been looking to this stuff for a quarter century. And I was down to, I better start throwing away myself, but a bunch of recycling. I don't know what to do with these. I don't think you can. Because it's a different kind of paper. I'm going to have to ask. I don't know if they can call it with it. If I hope so. I mean, they're perfectly fine. I just, you know, I have so many. I just know they, they, they do a totally different. We, we, it's about three textbooks ago, and they just do it. Um, I just know they, they, they teach different. It's still the basic thing, I think, about the you know, But we just taught totally different things. I think some better, some worse. You know. so, did you take different world cultures, or did you do did you do good with the art? I think it was interesting. Oh, good. Huh? There's an interest. Yeah, I, I liked it. Did you get, you don't get a full in depth history, but you get little bits on every place and my professors. I'm part of this your COVID. I was like going to like all the plexiglass. My room was big enough. I did, even though the plexiglass was four it, it actually probably made things worse. My class was big enough I could spread everyone out. So I had desks, I mean, I all the way to the corner, but I didn't have class things. So, like, it's a weird shape, not shape of itself, but like how we have it set up. And the issue was only, it's like 20 percent small. Yeah. It's, it's a big thing. I'm isolated in the big room like with windows. It's all a good thing. You know, you know. Part of the reason is I, the heat's hard to control. It used to be one big room. And so the heat's all messed up anyway. So either it's too hot or too cold. And then that wall's in the room. It's, and so it keeps it cold. Oh yeah, when the upstairs is boiling, this day is cool. Until the late afternoon, in the fifth period, the sun starts to lose. So I'll give John to read chapter seven. Did you already have a book for for it? That's when I gave you chapter six and seven. I'll give you a book. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the story. But I'll wait till the end of the end of the period. Sound good? It's the way they divide the chapters. Forbes. 
the old textbook, um, the, the ninth edition, this chapter, this chapter eight, they basically divide the four into two genders. Uh, this was actually 11th edition. The 11th edition. So, that's, that's the same yeah, I basically think this is not here. That one. So, yeah, it's chapter eight. It's, it's, I wish it was chapter eight. Chapter four is too much. This one's still pretty long, but I'm giving you lots of This book, it looks smaller, but it's, you need to polish textbooks, and it's designed, it doesn't have the, the screen books. Um, this one, we are able to get ones that the spines a little bit stronger, so it won't break immediately. This thing, I mean, literally, people put it in their backpack, and it would break. First time it's the backpack, it's fine. That's nice. Yeah, still find me. Twenty, it's like twenty-five bucks. These are not, but it also makes it even heavier. It's even a bigger brick. I'll be right back.
the Vietnam War yet? <laughs> you should be at the end of the chapter. Oh, okay. But no. Okay, maybe more like chapters, chapter 30, but you know. Yeah, it's like, I'm not close. You're close. Did you read this? We're reviewing conspiracy words. So we get it done to the best of it. They are made from humans that make contact with the aliens and it's the same from the The danger is different from genetically modified to the representation people from the back of the Kind of fun to talk. It's fun to talk about. They make research. Yeah. Huh? Experience or Just like someone's most yeah, and it's amazing how many people, frankly, just fall in. Oh yeah, because they it sounds fun and exciting. You want to stay there? You want me to do it, Ashley? Take over that seat.
Yeah.